Well, televangelist Joyce Meyer was very happy to announce to all of her followers that she got herself a tattoo. That's right, she's 79 years old, but she's 79 and feeling fine. And well, what she said as far as her decision to get the tattoo was very interesting because to her, it was all about honoring God. We're going to get into it here in just a second. First, guys, if you could, YT lets you try and hit that like button for me. Very important. Also, please share the video. Help us get around those algorithms. Hit the bell, subscribe, or the glasses because I'm blind. And guys, if you enjoy my work here and you're able to help contribute to my ministry with the generous donation, a couple different ways you could do that. One, you could just click the super thanks down below on this video here. That'll open up a donation prompt for you to make a one-time donation. Leave a comment with that that gets pinned down below. You can also help me out with my goal here for the month of March, trying to get five new patrons to sign up and bless our ministry for as little as five bucks a month at patreon.com slash conservative truth. And guys, we hit our goals. We're, we got a perfect start to the year. We hit our goals for January and February. So help me make that happen also here for March. And with Patreon, you will be alerted for all my content Unlike YT and their alerts, you're not going to get all the alerts for these videos. It just doesn't happen. There, you can also leave all your comments on these videos completely censorship-free. No worry about YT blocking or taking down what you guys are saying. You can even send me direct messages. And if you want to know my story, how did I go blind? How do I operate this entire ministry with no physical sight at all? I have a video that explains it all in the description. I think you'll enjoy. Big thank you to everybody already contributing and those thinking of doing so. Thank you as well. Your generosity is greatly appreciated. So Joyce Meyer at 79 years old has let everybody know that she didn't just get her first tattoo. No, no, now she has two of them. And the reasoning for this, it goes back several years where she had had an, uh, an encounter with a tattoo artist in Australia. And this was somebody who had had a, you know, a pretty checkered past and was told by many Christians that, well, you know, he wouldn't see the kingdom of God because of his decision to be a tattoo artist and have tattoos himself. But Joyce Meyer had said that she didn't really view it that way. In fact, she had, you know, felt a connection here to the tattoo artist and said that she herself wanted to get a tattoo to show that she belongs to Jesus. Now, there's been a debate on tattoos in Christianity for quite some time. I am not here to tell you that you should get a tattoo or you shouldn't get one. That's up to you and how you want to interpret scripture. Now, as far as, you know, me personally, I don't have a tattoo and I don't plan on getting one. That's my decision. You may think otherwise. But this is what Joyce Meyer said, that she is using Isaiah 49, 16, where it talks about how God will imprint our faces or tattoo our faces on each of the palms of his hands. So Joyce Meyer took that scripture by saying that this is God saying that tattoos are okay. And she said that I realized there are some Christians that are against tattoos. And she said, you can think what you want, but you have no right to judge me on how I feel about this. And I got more on that in a second. But as she goes on here, she says that she now, because she wants to equal that scripture. So she said, okay, well, God has imprinted our faces or tattooed our faces on his palm. So I want to also imprint or tattoo him on me by letting him know that I belong to Jesus. So she said that she has a cross tattoo on her back that says, I belong to Jesus. But she said, you know what? I wanted to go one step further with it. So I got the word love tattooed on my foot to remind me to walk in love. Isn't that cute? She also said that her husband at 82 years old also has a tattoo and that both her and her husband were some of the oldest people that this artist had ever tattooed before. Now, I think it's funny that she talks about walk in love because she was quite snippy when it came to dealing with people who were criticizing her. She says, you have no right to criticize me and my decision to get a tattoo. And she kind of dismissed the whole Leviticus 19.18 because, you know, that's the verse in the Old Testament where it says to, you know, not put tattoos on yourself. But then there's those that argue that, well, the New Testament doesn't say anything about it. So 
you know, it's obviously good. Use your own discretion and ask the Holy Spirit what he wants you to do as it comes to that. But Meyer went on here in her, you know, scolding of Christians by saying that God is not going to ask you your opinion when I stand before him on judgment day of what I have done. He's not going to say, can I uh, get some input from some of you here? What do you think about Joyce and what she has done? Now, that is true. I, I've said before that we will all stand before God and have to give an account of our life. But it's the way that Joyce Meyer puts this out there. It, you know what? I see this sort of attitude all the time in these big name televangelists and megachurch pastors where they feel that they are above everybody else, that they know better than everybody. And again, I'm not here to argue one side or the other over the tattoo thing. I just think it's funny that she uses Isaiah 49, 16 as her pass to get one. And again, I don't like the way that she's, you know, talking to Christians with this snooty attitude and I'm 79 and I can do what I, you know, whatever you think is wrong. And blah. Okay. Okay. Maybe Joy should just slow it down here a little bit as far as her attitude goes on this subject because... You know, while again, I, I do agree that God will, you know, we all have to give an account. Your friends aren't going to be there. Uh, that is very true. But she was saying, don't send me emails. Don't send me letters telling me that I'm wrong. I fully support this. And here's the other line that really got me. She said, I wanted the devil to, this is, and I, this is what I'm really, you know, going at her for here. She says, I wanted the devil to know that I belong to Jesus. Do you think that getting a tattoo is going to somehow now really let the devil know you belong to Jesus? Here's the thing. If you are born again, if you are a believer, the devil already knows that you belong to Jesus. Do you really think that putting ink on your body is going to somehow get the message across to him? He already knows. Because if you're a born again believer, guess what? You're imprinted on the inside of you by accepting Christ. You've made that decision to open up your heart to him. Allow him to come in, to lead and direct your life. There is no marking on your body that is going to send a message to the devil. Look, if Joyce Meyer just wanted to get a tattoo because she's like, you know what, I'm getting a little older, I want to do something, you know, kind of fun. Then fine, so be it. But to say that this is going to send the message to Satan, you've been in ministry for how long? And look, I could talk a lot about Joyce Meyer and a lot of things that she says that I don't agree with, but I could save that for another video. But give me a break. Using that as your <laughs> Isaiah 49, 16. And then, you know, yeah, I I wanted to let the devil really know. Because, yes, he's going to get scared now that you got that, you know, that tattoo on your back that says, I belong to Jesus. Okay, Joyce. So I, look, I open this up to you guys. Let me know what you think about it. Again, I'm not telling you good or bad. If you have a tattoo, if you don't, that's up to you and that's up, up to you and God. But again, it's her reasoning and, you know, it's her, you know, snooty attitude towards, you know, towards Christians about how that, you know, they're not allowed to tell her that she's wrong. And then, okay, let me know. I'll have more information for you in the description. What I want to do right now, though, is something that I do on all my videos. And that's end this video on hope. It's part of my ministry outreach. I talk about the end time Bible prophecy headlines. I keep you guys up to speed on everything that's going on. And I do it because we are in the last days and Christ is coming soon. If you're somebody watching right now and you have never received Jesus as your Lord and Savior, I want to lead you in a prayer to do that right now. This is a prayer you could do in your own words, but I will give you the steps that you need to bring it before the Lord today. First thing that you want to do right off the top, acknowledge that you are a sinner. That is something that we all are. The good news is that God gave his only son, Jesus Christ, to die on that cross for the sins of all the world as he died and rose again for you and me. He paid the cost. What you have to do is repent of your sin. Repent means to turn from your sin, not just to say you're sorry and then just jump back into your old ways, but to actually turn from sin, which are those lifestyles, patterns, habits, behaviors, things in your life that go against the word of God. If you humbly go before the Lord, though, and you ask him to forgive you, to wipe your sin away, and the Bible says that he doesn't remember it any longer. And then you invite Jesus into your life to be your Lord and Savior. When you do that, you become born again, a child of God. You will have eternal life. Trust me when I tell you there is no greater decision that you will ever make than the one you do. 
to give your life to Christ. And I pray you make that decision today. I'll have more on this down below. You guys can let me know your thoughts. Don't forget the links to donate to our ministry are there as well. You can go to patreon.com slash conservative truth. Sign up for as little as five bucks a month, guys, and help me out here with my goal for the month of March, trying to get five new patrons. You can also click the super thanks down below on this video here. That'll open up a donation prompt for you to make a one-time donation. Leave a comment with that that gets pinned down below. It's all a great blessing. Thank you all again so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you. And I'll talk with you soon.